Hey everyone, this is Mark. Thank you for taking a moment to watch my video. I uh, hope you are all doing great. Um, it is a gorgeous day here in Delaware. Um, after months of dreary, cold, gray days, um, it's probably 60, maybe 62 degrees outside. Sun is shining, which probably begs the question, Mark, why are you, you know, taking the time to do a video and you should be outside? The answer to that is uh, today is an errand day. It is my day off, um, but uh, I've been running errands. I uh, just went and got a haircut. Um, I have a uh, doctor appointment uh, in just a little bit, so I'll be heading out. But I wanted to do this video uh, first. Um, I'll be tied up tomorrow, um, and then it's back to work on Friday. So I figured this would probably be the best time. And I'm, I try to be spontaneous. Um, I don't like these to be scripted. I don't like them to be planned so much. I just... I think you get better results if it is, uh, you know, like I said, off the cuff and um, just kind of without script. So um, the reason for the video, um, and I've done, I did a video, one of my earlier videos, it's been my best received video. I have a little over uh, 3,100 views on it. Um, and if you look back in my catalog, you'll find it. It was called, uh, How Much Is Too Much for an FTD? So... I belong to several, I, I've mentioned this in my past videos, I, I belong to s several uh, Facebook uh, pages um, strictly with Elvis, one of them being an FTD um, uh, page and uh, get a lot of great information. If, if you haven't checked it out, I encourage you strongly to check it out. Uh, a lot of people, mostly it's people showing what they have in their collection regarding FTD items. Um, and sometimes on rare occasion, you'll get somebody who, uh, actually I wouldn't say rare, I'd say maybe once or twice a week, I see somebody selling, whether it be a book or one of the FTD CDs and on occasional vinyl and hard to find stuff. I've picked up a few things, um, from that page. I've, I've met people mostly from other countries, either in the United Kingdom, uh, Spain, I think I've bought some stuff. So, but the purpose of this video is just to talk about some of the FTDs, um, and first, right out of the, out of, out of the gate, um, how many of you have gotten the new Aloha from Hawaii CD set? Uh, I do not have it. I was on the fence about it. I was going to wait until more people wrote about it, um, that have bought it and uh, have, have received it and listened to it. And I have seen a ton of people have, have bought it. They got their copy here in the States and they go and shop Elvis Dot com and the Graceland store. Graceland store I may have released, but I know Shop Elvis, I think it's coming out in the next couple of days. Um, it's not out yet. If, if it has been released, it's just been released within the last day or so. Um, but overseas, um, Elvis Shop of London, UK, all those places, Denmark I've seen, they've all received their copies two, three weeks ago because they tend to get theirs earlier. And I've heard every, every I've, heard, I've not heard one bad thing about it. Um, for what I've heard is the April, uh, the uh, January 14th concert, which was the main concert that was broadcast via satellite. Uh, I've heard it's, it sounds spectacular. It is the best mix of any release that's ever been done. So that alone will make me uh, want to buy it. Uh, the packaging is phenomenal, which FTD always does such a good job with their packaging, with the sessions, sets, as you all know, if if you've bought some of their uh, CD sets. And um, the January 12th mix, which was the rehearsal, they I, I think it's just the same uh, remix or remaster that they did back, I want to say, in 2014. So nothing's different about that. But what is different on the third disc, uh, when Elvis did his um, songs that were not part of the concert, he did like Blue Hawaii, uh, Early Morning Rain, he did, he did a number of them, a handful of them, but there's all the different takes that he did uh, between uh, in the uh, Honolulu Convention Center. Uh, there was no crowd, of course, just the engineer, the RCA engineers, his band. Um, he kind of did it, I guess you can say, live, uh, but it's all the different takes. So that, that also would be the other reason that I will be getting it. I do think it's a little bit overpriced, um, but from what I'm hearing, it seems like it's well worth the money. Uh, runs about $62, I believe. Um, so I will be getting it eventually. I'm not in a huge hurry to get it, but I will be getting it and adding it to my collection. Um, 
Now, as far as that particular concert, uh, the Aloha concert, a ton of people will say that's their favorite concert. If I had my choice between the Aloha concert and the Madison Square Garden uh, concerts, the two that were recorded, sorry, a little message just popped out. I hate when I'm in the middle of a video and that pops up. Fortunately, you, you all can't say it. But uh, if it was, for my money, if it was between the Aloha concert and the um, Madison Square Garden concert. Now, I would choose the afternoon show, which was released as an afternoon in the garden in 1998. I think that is arguably Elvis's best concert. He sounded phenomenal. Um, I love the Aloha concerts. Don't get me wrong. I'm not criticizing them, being critical of them. It's just, if you were to say which one of the, of the two would you pick, I would pick the afternoon show. The afternoon show... I think the reason they, my belief is the reason they released the evening show is because it was three or four songs, I think it was three songs shorter than the afternoon show. It was about 10 minutes shorter in length. Uh, I think that was, I don't know if that was done purposely, but, uh, and then the rumor is, and it may not even be a rumor, is when it was released, Colonel Parker sped up the audio so they could fit on one album. So... It is what it is. Yeah, uh, the the evening the evening show, which is the one that was what was released, I do like it a lot. But I think the afternoon show is just so so good. So, um, but yeah, so I will eventually be getting the Aloha concert. Um, for what I'm saying, uh, a lot of a lot of stuff that uh, is has been released in the in, in the not so so distant past. They're going for sick money. The new Jailhouse Rock set that has the I think it's got three CDs and it's got a 45 um, from the character of Elvis. And his name escapes me off the top of my head, but the character he played in Jailhouse Rock, there's a, pitch, a picture sleeve with a 45. And I've actually read where people only bought the set for that disc just to get that vinyl because it's so exclusive. But that has gone for insane money. I've seen it on eBay for 350 and I saw it yesterday for 550 you don't have to pay that. It, it, you could still get that set, that book set. I think it's two books. It's the the filming of the of the movie, which is about three hundred and fifty pages, and then the a company book that comes with it is the recording, the sessions for Jailhouse Rock, and that's I think that's only about a maybe eighty five seventy five pages. That one's not as big, but then it comes with all the masters and all the uh, takes and everything from the sessions of, of Jailhouse Rock, and then it comes with the 45, which I know the one song is Treat Me Nice. I can't can't recall what this what the flip side of that is. But um, yeah, it's it, it's still available. You can go to, I just saw it uh, two days ago. I believe it's still there at uh, shopelvis.com. So if you go to Shop Elvis, go to FTD, go to FTD releases on the menu. It's at the very bottom. But like I said, these things sell it quick, so it changes from day to day. Um, this particular book that I'm about to show you, uh, and this is an example of somebody that I met on uh, uh, the Facebook, the FTD uh, Facebook page. It was somebody, I want to say they were in the UK, a uh, really, really nice uh, lady that I, I started uh, chatting with a little bit. She had a copy. Somebody had, had put out there in the, they posted, does anybody have a sealed new Elvis at Madison Square Garden book? And I saw it and, and, and uh, the girl that I bought this from, which says you can see I was able to snag that copy. They uh, they had responded like, yeah, I have a brand new sealed copy. Private message me, we'll talk. So I saw the post maybe two or three hours. It was like later that this is this is a number of months back, and I reached out to her and I said, you don't by chance still have you didn't sell that that copy, did you? I said, I'm assuming you did, and she responded immediately. I said she was in the UK and she said, no, I I still have it. I, of course, didn't ask questions. I don't know if it fell through, if the guy wasn't happy with the price, but I asked her what she wanted for it. She asked me to make her an offer. I did. She accepted it. And uh, yeah, she was just a real, real nice, nice lady. And we kind of chit-chatted back and forth, but uh, I still have it. I had this before and I sold it uh, because I wanted to uh, build up my FTD vinyl collection. So um, I got more than what I paid for it, but this is still sealed, as you can see. I have not opened it yet. I will be opening it, so don't say, why haven't you opened it? I will be opening it. It's just, time is fleeting. But anyway, with that one, I've seen that on eBay for the cheapest I've seen it 
is $499. Uh, I didn't pay close to that when I got mine, like I said, last year, like the middle of last year. Uh, but I've seen it for, there's one shop um, has it, I want to say they want $675 for it, $675. So just insane money. But here's the thing, and I used to always say, you know, man, like people pay sick money for these things. But another channel um, that I watch, um, the King's uh, King's Court, uh, Ed did a video, and he he made a, he made a very wise comment that I've, I I haven't forgotten. He said, you know what? It's supply and demand. If people are willing to buy it, and that's their prerogative, there it is. You know, if people are willing to pay and shell out the money to get it, and they want it badly enough they'll pay it. And these prices are there because people are paying for it. So yeah, um, the other one, this one you can still get fairly relatively cheap. I don't have many of the FTD books, but the ones I have are really cool. I just got this one fairly recently. It's uh, Elvis, Memphis to Nashville 61. I got this for a really nice price. As you can see, it is still sealed. This one I'll also be cracking open soon. This one you can still get really relatively uh, inexpensive. Um, the Elvis Shop of London has this. Um, last I checked a couple days ago, they still had this uh, book, um, uh, but it has a CD in it. I think it's, uh, uh, ba, 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 let me see here. My doctor appointment is for my eyes, if that tells you anything. Um, it is the, it comes with the mono version of Elvis's classic 1961 LP, something for everybody. So there you go. Um, so yeah, I picked up that fairly recently. Like I said, I got it for a really nice price. Um, this next one, this one I got not all that long ago either. It is the That's the Way It Is um, 50th Anniversary uh, Collector's Edition. Comes with two coffee table books. This thing weighs a ton. Um, and eight CDs of the different uh, rehearsals and things like that. You can see it all on the back. Um, so I got, I got this for a really nice price too. And this one is now going for pretty insane money. But again, people are paying paying for it. And as long as they're paying for it, people are going to shell it out. Um, now, just to, th to, to go along with that, um, a few of these I got for really, really, really great prices. Um, this one I just got last week. This was one of the first few. I think this came out back in, yeah, it came out in 99. Elvis out in Hollywood. 22 great songs. Like I said, I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> a lot of these I haven't opened yet. Uh, but I got this for dirt cheap. Um, and I've seen it elsewhere for quite a bit more than that. So I was able to pick this up. I saw it. I got it as soon as I saw it post. Snagged that. Um, this one I got also last week. I got this one for a really cheap price. This is also deleted. It's uh, Elvis Presley Live in LA. I, I had my eye on this one for a couple of years. I just never pulled the trigger. And then it was not on the sites anymore. It was deleted. And somebody had it on eBay for, like I said, dirt cheap. So I picked it up for very, very cheap. I probably, in fact, I think I got it less than what it actually sold for originally. Um, this one, uh, Elvis Studio B, Nashville Outtakes, uh, 1961 to 1964. Um, I got this one. You can see, I don't know if you can see. I'm not going to try to show you the track listing. Um and the print is so small, I can't say it. So, and then this one I had years ago and I sold it and I could kick myself for selling it. And I bought it from the same person. It's Elvis Fame and Fortune. And these are the um, outtakes from um, Elvis's back, his hand in mine and something for everybody. So I don't know if you can see. I'll probably try to put that close so you can see the song selection. There's such a glare. Uh, but I got this one. I'm trying to think the other one. A guy had them on sale. He had three of them. And I've seen this one for really, really uh, pretty pretty high prices on this one because this one's deleted. This one I've seen for, for well over $100, maybe $125, $150. I got these two and another one. I can't remember what the other one was off the top of my head, but I got all three of them for like a third of the price of what all of them would have been combined. It just happened to fall on it. The guy was selling them. He had, he had double copies of them and I got them for really, really great price. Um, so those are, or that's those. I'm going to pause this just for a quick, quick second to show you the next couple items. All right. I am back. I just wanted to pull, um, to wrap the video up. I wanted to 
uh, pull out a couple um, of the FTD vinyls. Um, this one is my favorite. This one I got um, last summer. Um, I, I, I had looked for this one probably close to a year and a half. Um, it was, um, oh, there's, almost dropped it. There's the hype sticker. This one's still sealed. I haven't decided if I'm going to open this. Um, I've asked the question before and I've been told, no, do not open it. You're crazy if you open it. And then I had some people say, enjoy it, open it, you know, make sure that the vinyl's in good shape. Uh, it's a little late now. I've, I actually got this on Discogs. And I got it for a really, really good price compared to what it's gone through now. Because um, before I bought it, probably about, I want to say it was probably in August or September. I think it was August. Um, there was two brand new copies like this on Discogs. One had a price and it was overseas. So they converted it. So the um, the price on it was was kind of a weird off amount. But the one copy, they had it for um, $884 or make an offer. And the other was for $1,002. They both sold within about two to three hours from each other. And so, yeah, one sold for over a thousand. Uh, it sold on eBay recently, um, roughly, I'd say about a month and a half ago, and it sold for six seventy five, which still is not bad. But like I said, I, I didn't pay that much for it either. Um, I found somebody on eBay right after those two sold. I thought, you know what? I might as well just be, um, I, I'm, I might as well just uh, come to the terms that I'm never going to own it because there's no way I'm going to spend that kind of money for it. It's so hard to get, but I found somebody, it was probably, because I get alerts from Discogs when, when an item, when I have a want list, you can set it up to where it'll, you'll get an alert or email when that when somebody ha has it for sale. And they had it, I made an offer on it, he accepted it, shipped it, boom, got it. The other one that's becoming really, really hard to get, and it's going for a lot of money, is this one, Elvis Moody Blue. Um, this is a double clear vinyl. Um, I think they made, I want to say it's 2,500 copies maybe. I got a kind of a high number. I got 1,397. But I love this album, period. So to get it when I did, and I got it before it shot up in, in price. Um, I got it a little over a year ago. There was a woman, again, in the, uh, I think she was in the UK, and I bought six or seven of them from her uh, over a span of a couple different um uh, items I bought from her. This was one of them, and I was really, really glad to get my hands on this one. Um, this one is also hard to get a hold of. Elvis on stage. I absolutely love this album, the, the regular version. Um, as you see in some of my other videos, this is the one uh, album that I have uh, several different versions. I have a French copy. I have a Japanese copy. It's kind of unique because it's actually one one. Uh, LP, but it's in a box set. comes with like a little poster. Um, I got the Friday music version, and I got the music on vinyl version, which came out last year on red vinyl. And then, of course, this. Um, this is just, yeah, this this is one of my my prized FTD LPs. And then, and that's going, like I said, that one's going for pretty insane money. And this particular one I bought with, from the woman I mentioned, um, that I bought from Moody Blue. This was one of the ones I bought. Um, got it again for a really nice price, and then it shot way. It almost it almost tripled in value in price. And Discogs and other places, if you can find this one, Promised Land, um, the companion album, this one's gone for sick money. But again, people are are paying for paying it. So if they're going to pay it, I don't blame them. I I probably shell out the money too. So those are some of the track listings. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard to show those because they're just so hard to see. Oh, and I also have this one. And this one I just got, um, this book I just, I got this one for real cheap. I got this from the office shop a lot. I got it for a real nice price. Um, this is King Creole, the music. And I did show this in another video. Not a real big, not a real thick book. But what's nice about this is it has all the, um, every take of the entire recording sessions from King Creole. So this is a nice book. And King Creole as you may know, is uh, in my top five of favorite Elvis's uh, best soundtracks, in my opinion. So, yeah, um, that was just a little bit. I just want to get on here and 
talk a little bit about some of these items. You know, what are, what are some of the things that you all have your have your eye on? What's amazing to me is I actually saw now I know some some people that you know I interact with on social media. Several people, a lot of people I know, have all every single vinyl release. I am four shy of completing the set. Um, to be honest with you, unless they're repress or I just luck out, I'm in the right place at the right time, and I find it for the right price that I'm happy with. I don't anticipate myself getting the three. Um, I'm not upset about it. I'm not gonna you know stay awake at night over it. It is what it is. Um, I may be able to get my hands because so the four I need are uh, Jailhouse Rock Volume One, um, the Good Time Sessions. Uh, the one that I really, really want is the uh, Jungle Room Sessions, which I think was the third release in the LP series of FTD. And the last one is Hot August Night. Hot August Night I can probably pick up here in the next month for a pretty decent price. I know somebody who has it. Uh, they're holding on to it, so I might be able to get that. And I only need three of them. The issue is the last three that I need, other than, like I said, I'd really like to get the Jungle Room Sessions, that goes for between five and seven hundred dollars. Sick money, but again, people are paying for it. Um, so if I, you know, if they repress it, great. I have a feeling they probably won't. But if I'm fortunate enough to get my hands on one for a decent price that I'm happy with, I'll get it. Good times. It's funny because uh, Promised Land is my favorite studio LP that Elvis did in the seventies. I absolutely love Promised Land, the entire album, every bit of it. And Good Times, of course, as you know, was recorded during those sessions. And Good Times is my least favorite uh, 70s album. I'm just not a huge fan of it. Um, it's not one that I put on my turntable. I do own a copy of it, but it's just not one that I gravitate to. Personal choice. I know a lot of people love the album. It's just not one of my personal favorites. Um, but, uh, so yeah. Um, just lost my train of thought that quick, but... So anyway, there you have it. Uh, oh, and then I, I know what I was saying, talking about the last ones I need. Um, Jailhouse Rock Volume 1, I always thought it was odd that that album never got a full album release, even during Elvis' lifetime. It was released as an EP. So not only did they release one, but they released two volumes of it, both on CD and LP, so you have four albums for, I think the soundtrack only has five songs on it. So I saw somebody list that one for, I think it was $475. I'm like, nah, not going to show you that kind of money for, you know, an album that basically plays the same songs over and over again over the course of two albums. I do have volume two, obviously, but so, so three of the four, um, it's not a huge deal if I don't get them. Like I said, Good Times, not a huge, it's my least favorite it's Elvis, so of course I like I, I enjoy. It's got some highlights on it, but uh, you know my least favorite album of the '70s, Joe Has Rock. You know, five songs over two albums, five or six. I think it's five though, and then um, Hot August Night, which are so many of those concerts that were recorded um, in in July and August of 1969. So that one is the one I'll probably get next. I only need a few, and like I said. If I, you know, trip over a bag of money, <laughs> then maybe I'll, I'll invest and get them. Um, but anyway, what I was saying was, it's amazing. I came across, you, you see people that have every FTD CD release, which I think is impressive. Because between the books and the CDs, you're talking about, a, about 180, 190 releases that they've done from 1999 till now. So I don't have a ton of the CDs. I do, the ones that I really want, I do have in my collection. Um, the sessions, I have all the sessions now except for uh, the potluck sessions and the His Hand and Mine sessions. And I'm getting, going to be getting one of the two within the next couple of days. So then I'll only need the last one. I got all the ones that are deleted and are starting to become really difficult to find. Um, so I got those first to, get, to make sure I got them before they went for sick money. Because even those, some of those on eBay are gone for two, two, two and a quarter which I'm not going to pay when you can get them for, you know, a fraction of that cost. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've yapped long enough. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, video. I enjoyed doing it. Um, the FTDs I really enjoy talking about and sharing with all of you. 
But um, yeah, leave your comment. Uh, tell me uh, what you have your eye on, if you have them all. If there's a certain one that have uh, that has um, kind of dodged you and you haven't been able to get a hold of, um, I'd love to hear from you. Um, so, oh, and there's one more thing. And I'll, I'll show this in another video. I did come across this. I talked about this in a video. Um, one of the great books that are out there, this is Elvis. This is not FTD. This is something totally separate. Uh, that's the way it is at Elvis on tour. Um, it's a soft back. It's not very thick. Um, you know, that shot. But it's got some really, really fantastic pictures in it. High gloss color pictures. Um, a lot of really great information covering the Elvis on tour movie. And then, of course, the um, That's the Way It Is uh, book. Uh, so not really easy to see at that angle. Um, but I was looking for it. I, I wanted to show it in the one video I did. I couldn't find it. When I was going through and pulling some of these CDs out. I stumbled across. I was like, yeah, I'll mention it. So, yeah, I'm sure after I uh, end this recording, I'll think of something else that popped in my head. Oh, yeah, one more thing. There's one book. I think it's called. There's two books, that actually, that I saw in Discogs. One is the Viva Las Vegas set. I think it was two books with some CDs of all the recordings. That's gone for over $1,000. That one, for whatever reason, is just in huge demand. And the other one, it's either called Fit for a King or Fashion for a King. It was on Discogs night before last. There was three copies available. Two of them went for tw over $1,200 each. So tw over $1,200 for a book, hardback book, and a CD. So again, people are paying it. It's in high demand. Uh, FTD makes a fantastic product. I'm very, very happy with everything that I do have of theirs. Um, they go above and beyond. And from what I'm hearing, the Elvis on Tour FTD set, I haven't heard any announcement yet. I'm sure that's coming within the next few months. Um, still out. On, jury's still out on that. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it because I did have that video that I showed. If you look back in my catalog, a few videos ago, I did uh, I, the, the, the three book set. Um that's limited to a thousand pressings. So, and a lot of those are never before seen. So more than likely, I'll probably break down and get it because again, it's all this. So if you like the content, uh, appreciate all the uh, comments I get. Some of you are at least su such nice comments. I try to respond to all of them. Uh, my channel is, is still growing. Um, just uh, cleared 750 viewers, which is a big deal to me. I've only had the channel a little under three months. <laughs> So I think that's pretty uh, significant growth. Um, so if you like what you see and you want, the, um, you want to see more content, please consider liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I don't know where you are. I hope your weather is nice where you are. Um, I have to head out and get ready for my doctor appointment, but I appreciate you taking the time to watch and uh, I will talk to you all soon. Take care.